Hi friends, we have a new feature which is this date navigator you see right here. Um, it looks like this. You can add this date navigator to your dated flag and then you can navigate within the week to different dates or hop around like you see here. There also are two buttons you can click to go to the next page or next date. Um, here is another example. This one's a date navigator with um, 31 or 30 days for the entire month. Here again, we are in October 31st. You can now go to October 8th or you can jump to 15th, 23. So it's similar like in a calendar where you can click on the date, but um, here it would be on top within a dated widget. You can also click on the button to go to the next page like this. And then here is a different one in a different styling. You again have here the buttons and then it will also highlight which date you're on and you can also hop around to different um, days in the week like this. Now in this tutorial, I'm going to show you how we can apply this um, date navigator to your dated flag. And to do this, I will open up a pre-made template. You can also open up your own digital planner or you can go onto the explore page and you can type in uh, digital planner 2024. I will go with this planner right here. It's on the second page. So typing in digital planner 2024, go to the second page and then um, it's this one here I'll be using for this tutorial. But of course you can open up your own personal digital planner on your end if you're following along in this tutorial. This is how the planner looks like. That's the index page and now go straight to the daily page. Can be any daily page. I'm now in August 24th. You can open up any daily page on your end as well. Important is that um, it's a dated widget and not a date flag. So make sure it's a dated widget. So the difference between dated widget is that this is a widget space right in here. And this, this date flag here has been applied into this space. So a date flag would be a date added on top of a widget. So for example, if it looks like this on your end, where you have a date flag on top of a widget, you would need to remove it and make sure that you have like a dated widget within its own space. So similar like this one here. And then when you have the dated widget inserted into its own spacing and you click on it, you should have this menu show up up here. So this menu should show up, which is called wrap date navigator. So if you now click on this menu and set it to on, it will look something similar like this one here. Now to make it visually easier for you to understand, I will now remove the pink background from this planner by going to pattern and I'll quickly set it to none to remove the background so you can just see the colors better. So now that you have the date navigator set to on, it should look similar to what we have here. And then next you can choose if you want to have it set to one week or one month or just five days. So for this video, I'm going to set it to just a week. If you want to have it set to a month, you might want to have edit layout set to on and you might want to create a new widget on top so you can expand the date flag throughout the entire length of the planner. So for example, like this, and then here you can set it to month and now it would have enough space for 31 days. Okay, just in case you want to have it um, with many days, maybe add a new widget space on top of it. I will um, bring it back down here, just drag it here and I will remove um, this added spacing here. And let me quickly set it back to one week. And now we can check out the different stylings we have. So here um, you see next to it, there is a layout menu where you can select different types of layouts. So you can have the buttons here on the sides or you can have a layout where um, the navigator is on the top or you can have it uh, have the buttons big like this on the sides. And then this one would be a vertical one. So for you to see it better, if I now drag it down here, uh, let me 
let me try drag it here okay you see this one would be a vertical one where the days are lined up vertically so this is something else you can experiment with then let me go back to layout one now under styling um, you can have style three which looks like the following style um, this would be style four two one and then you can have the arrows showing or not showing so you can also choose between this then next about the colors um, if you click on the dated widget um, the colors will be these ones right here now here is a quick tip if you want to change the outline color um, you can click on the outline and then choose a new color here if you click on the colors down here below it will take over the colors for the entire widget let me maybe quickly select a new styling and also show the buttons so if you click on the pre-made color palette it will apply those and will change the layout like this so here is where you would change the colors and then uh, for the color within the dated widget you will have to set edit layout to off so you can click on the dated widget and then here the inside color of this data widget would be separate um, so under date if you scroll all the way down you can change the inside color if you don't want any inside color you can click and select the white color like this and then you can still select a new type of date so if you prefer to just maybe show the date and the day like this then you can select this one you can also separately um, adjust the font you can also further change the colors of the lines so here you can also change the line color if you like and then let me quickly set it back to its default colors so then once you have activated the date navigator and you want to apply to all the other daily pages what you then want to do is you want to go to the apply this page to button so it's this button up here and then you can select all the daily pages within this planner now the fastest way would be to first select all pages and then you want to deselect all the index the monthly and the weekly pages so you only have the daily pages selected so let me quickly fast forward and do that also do this on your end as well deselect everything besides the dailies okay so now i have selected all the daily pages from january 1st all the way down till december 31st make sure you have all the daily pages selected and then you want to click on skeleton plus apply style and it will now run through each page and it will implement the changes you have made to this planner and you will see it will also apply the date navigator to every daily page Okay, it now has finished applying the date navigator to every dated page and you can now randomly check on each page if it's there, which it should. And then once you're happy with it, you can go to the export menu and then have it set to digital. And it is good practice to sync your planner again before exporting. Um, you can try to go straight to export without syncing it, but if you see any errors, then I would advise you to go back, sync it maybe on normal speed or you can also have it to one second, depending on how simple or how complicated your planner is. And then once synced again, you want to click on batch generate PDF to export it again. Okay, let's click on download PDF and then let's go to a daily page. And now let's see if we now click on the button, it should go to the next page, okay, which it does. If you click within the date navigator, it should jump to its according page, which it does as well. So I would recommend you to check everything if all looks fine. Again, if you see any errors, I would just recommend you to go back to syncing and then maybe syncing it on a lower speed, depending on how complicated the planner is. Um, this was how to apply a date navigator to your dated flags. I hope this was helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to always message me on Instagram or Facebook and I will try to respond to your questions as quickly as I can. Bye!